Tonight, Profiles in Ancient History travels back over 1,000 years to unearth the mystery of one of the greatest entertainment juggernauts of all time, Lanigan and Mahoney. Information about Lanigan and Mahoney is practically non-existent. Not a single full-length recording remains intact to this day, but we are certain about one thing. Tom Lanigan and Jimmy Mahoney were the most prolific entertainers of the 21st century. By the year 2000, Lanigan and Mahoney dominated the airwaves, consistently placing first in the ratings for over 46 years in a row, besting fellow radio rivals such as Johnny Carson, Leanne Seacrest, and the reanimated Corpse of America's sweetheart, Dick Clark. Tom and Jimmy were unstoppable off the air as well. I mean, they were part of something called the Rat Pack, along with other famous rogues like Dick Goddard, Frank Sinatra, and Little John. They ran rampant across big cities like Cleveland, Akron, and the nation's capital at that time, Las Vegas, San Francisco. Hollywood even made moving picture films about them. This so-called Rat Pack was notorious not only for their feats of strength, but also their drunken debauchery. Now, during one of his infamous drunken rampages, Jimmy, unknown alcoholic, literally set the Cuyahoga River on fire with his eyes. And he was not known for being a charitable person. Despite being a multimillionaire, he did not repair this river damage. And that's why it's still burning to this day. Also, there's no more water. So, that's problem two. These guys were real partiers. They were brutal to local restaurants for some unknown reason. They would bust into a place, start asking questions, ranting and raving. Listen to this rare clip. And this is my house. It has always been my house. It'll always be my house. I don't care if I'm at the station on vacation at another location. Because I'm a bad man, John Lanning, and a bad man. Who? In the year 2010, Cleveland, Ohio was a gleaming metropolis. This, of course, was before the rise of the hobo robots, or hobobots. Now, jobs, homes, and food was more than plentiful. This was not the case for the rest of the country, however. In a famous incident, Lanigan and Mahoney show intern Tracy gave her life battling operatives for the terrorist organization Food Network as they stormed the IX Center. The Ferris wheel was dismantled and destroyed forever. <laughs> so were so many dreams. At one point during the Rat Pack era, AKA the gay 90s, Lanigan, who also owned XFL champion team, the Cleveland Browns, lost them in a bet to a friend of the show, Chip Cooley, who moved the team to Baltimore and started the very first Hooters. Now, it may be just a phrase on the $5,000 bill to you and I, but this is where Chip's revered words of wisdom originated. The breasts are the welcome mat to the face. Wise words. Losing the Browns led to a temporary rift between the usually inseparable Tom and Jimmy and the space-time continuum. For a brief period of about six months, Jimmy was replaced by a local television unknown, Emmanuel Lewis and the show was renamed the Lanigan and Webster program, but this didn't last. Lanigan struck out on his own and found success as host of the super movie on TBS. Uh, he's appearing at Chuckles tonight. Eventually beating ratings giants Owen Wilson and Rachel Ray to become the emperor of late night television. But this was a hollow victory. Tom and Jimmy could not stay apart. Their great friendship and unbreakable bond led them to reunite and create perhaps the greatest contribution to society of all time. Knuckleheads in the news. Of course, every naughty child today knows the knucklehead tales by heart. Parents use them as warnings to keep their children on track with schoolwork, to get them to go to sleep, or even to scare them into behaving at home. But things were not always this way. In the time of Lanigan and Mahoney, these holy tales of wisdom were not even written down in the sacred book which we just used to store the hollow chip. It's very safe. Listen now, as we have unearthed a rare original recording of our most sacred of chants, which we believe was made during the opening ceremonies of the World Hoverboard Championship, circa Space Year 3. Incredible. Join us next week when Profiles in Ancient History returns, bringing you the story of the life and times of the United States' first female and third cyborg president. We bring you Sarah Palin 2024.